Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Thank you for stopping by. If you are new to my channel, karibu karibu sana. And if you are returning subscriber, thank you for always coming back. In this channel, we do a lot of homemaking that is cooking, cleaning, and a little bit of lifestyle. If this is the content you love or enjoy watching, then you are in the right place. In today's video, I'm going to take you through a random day and we will start with making some breakfast. We will be doing a lot of cooking and we will start with making some crepes for breakfast. So uh, today I decided to use the blender to blend my, my ingredients. So I'm using two eggs and some sugar. Then I will add some milk and some flour that is all i'm using to make my crepes so guys stick around until the end of this video hope you're going to enjoy this video and hope you're going to learn some new recipe making the crepes now let us prepare some tomato and onions for my omelette for my egg omelette so that is all i'm going to use just some tomato some onions and some salt that will be all and then we'll have our breakfast
and there was my breakfast it was ready so i'm going to serve it and we are going to enjoy our breakfast so that is how everything turned out it was so yummy your fingertips are drifting away and i fucking love how it hurts why do I hello guys i passed through the supermarket because i wanted cheese I want to try and make some pizza at home so I had to get go and get some cheese I don't have cheese in the house so I be trying it for the first time so I needed cheese so I had also to pick a little snacks so I got some juice this is soda I got soda and I'll try this one it will be my first time trying it some soap some biscuits This is some chicken. I passed and got some chicken, so we'll have it now. Here is the cheese. I never thought this cheese is that expensive. This one I got it for 495. Yeah, this small for 495. I didn't know this thing is so expensive. So we we'll use it. Some fermented milk. This is my favorite. I love it with ugali. We got some energy drinks, some energy drinks. I have we had already started eating these cakes, so we bought some cakes, yogurt, some juice, more juice, some crepes. for my daughter more juice on this particular day I was just getting some snacks I have like food I have flour I have rice I have sugar so I just needed some some snacks and because it is Christmas why not celebrate so we have these snacks for the kids and this is some bathing soap so that is all I got just snacks, snacks alone, nothing else. So I'm going to put the juices in the fridge and you're going to have this chicken. Then I will make some pizza later. I'm just praying it will turn out the way uh, it will turn out well so I will be putting my flour I will use like two cups of flour then some yeast tablespoon of yeast for my salt just a little bit of salt not a lot just a little bit of salt and 
I will mix them. I will be using some warm, this is some warm water. Yeah, some warm water. Then I will mix my dough until I get the consistency I want. Sometimes I like just trying some beans. It is good to try beans. And if I will perfect, I will be doing this on weekends. I will be making pizza for my family on weekends. So I want to my dough to be soft, so I will be adding a little bit of water. At this point, I'll be using my hands to make my dough. And as we wait for my dough to rest, I'm going to prepare the sauce, the pizza sauce, and I will be using some tomato. So I'm going to like boil them so that I can, it can be easy to remove the peels. Then I will blend them. And I will also be using some onions, some ginger, and some garlic. So I'm going to prepare them as my tomato boils.
you have boiled the tomatoes it is so easy to peel them or you can just put them in some hot hot water and they will peel easily For the spices, I used some cayenne, I used some garam masala, I used some black pepper, and I added some salt. I also used some curry powder and cumin powder. That is all I used to make to make my stew for the spices, and I also added a little bit of sugar to reduce the acidity. My, pizza, my dough had already rested like for two hours so I'm going to make the pizza as the sauce is cooking so I had to cut this dough into two I wish I knew that but I used the whole dough for one pizza which gave me a, a, a dense a dense pizza and uh, next time I will learn from that mistake. I know next time I will cut the dough into two. But still the pizza came out perfectly. We really enjoyed despite how it was. But we enjoyed how it was and we really had fun eating this pizza. So you can try it. Make your pizza at home. And we love everything. You love the outcome. Just make and follow the, the right procedure. You love everything. So guys, I applied my sauce, then I'm going to add the minced meat. I used minced meat because it's what I had. Then I will be using some tomatoes and some onion. I wish I had some capsicum, but I didn't have, so I'm using what I have. And then I will apply my cheese. I will add my cheese. Then I will bake this for 30 
or 20 minutes and it will be ready and i'm going to serve it turned out so amazing we enjoyed we love it and you can try this if you have never tried homemade pizza i have never buy one and i decided to make it myself and it turned out amazing so guys try this and we love it if you have stick to this end thank you so much for sticking up to this end give this video a thumbs up if you liked it share me out if you can and also leave a comment for me and don't forget to watch the ads for me don't skip the ads watch the ads for me so guys that is how the pizza turned out so good so yummy so amazing so i will be doing this more often so that i can perfect and uh, practice practice make it perfect so guys we're going to have this pizza with some fries and uh, that will be all for our dinner the family really enjoyed this pizza and uh, they wish i be making it more often so guys until next time i'm going to end this video here i just wish you a happy new year may god grant you a year full of love full of his great things and um May God open doors for you. What you didn't accomplish in this year, may you accomplish it in next year. So guys, until next time, bye-bye.